I've been to a Canelo fight. I've bought pay-per-view fights for to watch Canelo fight. I mean, I've supported this guy the best way I can. Obviously, he doesn't owe me shit, right? He, you know, he don't need to do anything. He what he does in the ring is more than enough for us as uh as fans. He goes in there and does his thing. We appreciate that. Like that's how he repays us back, right? The only reason why Canelo is so relevant, yes, is his boxing. How many good fighters do we know? Not just in boxing, but in MMA, women's, men's, like all this stuff that are really, really good. But they can't sell tickets. They can't sell out arenas. They can't. You know, they don't have that gravity. And Canelo does. You know. The Mexican people are very supportive people and, and we stand behind our people and very, very strong. That's just what we do. And I just would think that Canelo, like, okay, a Mexican people have been supporting me for a long fucking time. They've been asking for this fight. They asked for the uh, Triple G fight. I gave it to them and now they're asking for this fight. Let me fucking give them this fight too, man. That's why I like Canelo. Before I get into my three reasons, I want to give you guys how I feel about it, like in a longer format. You know, I know clips don't really do too much justice. But, you know, when I hear that from someone like Canelo that, you know, to hear Canelo say $200 million and I'll fight tomorrow, you know, he brings nothing to the table. And, and, and this is a Canelo that I've been watching, I mean, a little bit before the Mayweather fight. Like, I've been watching Canelo. He's been hyped for a long time. He's been a professional since 16 years old. I mean, he he's an amazing boxer and has achieved a lot, you know, and, and I give that to Canelo and I'm like a Canelo meat writer, and, like, people give me shit all the time, like, bro, Canelo all day, like, I'm just keeping it a buck with you guys, but to hear that from somebody that I look at, or I have these uh, thoughts about, like, this guy's a beast, da, 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 and he says, I need 200 million dollars to fight this guy, I'm just like, what the fuck, why do you need 200 million dollars to make a good fight in boxing that people want, I've been, uh, I, I mean, I've been to a Canelo fight, uh, I've bought pay-per-view fights for, from Canelo like, or to watch Canelo fight. I mean, I've supported this guy the best way I can. Obviously, he doesn't owe me shit, right? He, you know, he don't need to do anything. He What he does in the ring is more than enough for us as, uh, as you could say, as fans. Like, he goes in there and does his thing. We appreciate that. Like, that's how he repays us back, right? But I would think, you know, the only reason why Canelo is so relevant, yes, is his boxing. But, you know, it could be 90% boxing and 10% the fans. You know, we, how many good fighters do we know? Not just in boxing, but in MMA, uh, women's, men's, like all this stuff that are really, really good. But they can't sell tickets. They can't sell out arenas. They can't, you know, they don't have that gravity. And Canelo does. You know, the Mexican people are very supportive people. And, and we stand behind our people and very, very strong. That's just what we do. And, and I just would think that Canelo, like, okay, a Mexican people have been supporting me for a long fucking time. They've been asking for this fight. They asked for the uh, Triple G fight. I gave it to them, and now they're asking for this fight. Let me fucking give them this fight too, man. That's why I like Canelo. Because he took the Triple G. Like, when he took those fights, I was like, let's fucking go. Even though he lost the first one, and I know it's a tie, I think Canelo lost that first fight. But I don't care. But the fact that he made that shit happen, and, and like, you know, it happened, and I was happy to see it. And they ran it back a second time. He bounced back, and he won. And I was like, fuck yeah, you know? Like, that's what's up and i just feel like uh canelo you know a little bit love towards his fans and, and to say like oh you know what guys like fuck it you guys want this fight i'll give you guys one more banger before i walk away from the sport um and here it is and and, and it's going to be against the benavides that's what i would expect so to hear 200 million dollars i'm like bro how much more do you want you have everything everything the fans, the cars, the house, you got the fam. Like, you have achieved so much, bro. So when he says $200 million, I'm just like, okay, he's saying an outrageous price because he's fucking, like, scared. Or he's worried about something, you know? Like, he's like, I don't know if he thinks, like, if my legacy's on the line, I need $200 million. If people are, uh, you know, people are going to remember Canelo, like, towards the end. That's just how it is, right? And, and me mega fights, like the GG fight or the Mayweather fight. But, you know, people are going to remember that last fight or the last few fights that you had. And especially if you lost, everyone's going to remember the Bivolt fight. You know, we all going to remember that shit. And if he loses again, we, go, we, go, we all might say, oh, Canelo towards the end lost. But the reality is he fought bigger guys. And if he fought David Benavides, David Benavides is a bigger guy, bro. It's just how it is. So when he says $200 million, I'm like, fuck, man. This guy's like, he doesn't want he doesn't want to fight Bivol for the love for the fans and the love for the sport. You know, if he ever gets to fight, I mean, not Bivol, Benavides, he's not doing it for the love of the game or for the love to his fans or because he wants to uh, test himself in a competitive way. He's fighting Benavides because he's going to get a bag and 
Like, I don't know, man. It just seems weird. I find it a little shitty, you know, but I understand. Like, I, I, I understand Canelo's perspective. You know, if, if you know, I, I don't know if Canelo's like, if you guys want me to put my legs in line and you guys are going to remember these two losses, if I lose to Benavides, I'm going to need $200 million. And that's kind of shitty, but also understandable for Canelo. I get it, bro. I understand. Like, I get it. But, you know, that's just how I feel about it. That's just how I feel about it. Um, and I'm curious to know, you know, we got more to talk about, but I'm curious to know how, if you guys are fans, Mexican fans, and the, like, how long you've been supporting Canelo, like, how did that make you feel? And at the end of this episode, I'm going to talk to people who backed up Canelo, and you guys, are, I mean, you guys are delusional. But um, I'll get that towards towards the end of the episode.